Doctors and researchers at the University of Miami are starting clinical trials on a new method to treat the most severe coronavirus patients. It uses stem cells from umbilical cords. These stem cells are typically used for improving kidney function and treating diabetes. But in China and Israel, they've been given to COVID-19 patients through an IV showing remarkable improvements. Joining me now to talk about this new clinical trial is University of Miami professor and stem cell therapy researcher, Dr. Camilo Ricordi. Doctor, thank you for being with us. So I, I read an interview with you in the Miami Herald, and I get the impression that you're pretty optimistic about the potential. Well, yes, uh, we're optimistic because uh, the initial data on the first uh, 70, 80 patients that have been uh, infused in China and also more recently in Israel with a similar cell uh, source, uh, they have been doing remarkably well. Uh, some of these have been published. These are not randomized trials, so they need validation. And that's one of the reasons why we are rushing to do this trial in the United States. The unique thing of these cells is that they naturally home to the lung, because if you inject them IV, over 95% of them remain trapped in the lung. So when we do it for diabetes in the pancreas or for kidney disease, you have to do selective catheterization of the arteries that go to the organ to avoid the lung trap. But in this case, it's now, a natural delivery route. Now, you've just begun this study in Miami, and you're hopeful that you can expand it. And by doing so, you can, you know, basically test it, it, its efficacy. Yeah, and we are already talking with centers coast to coast uh, from Stanford, the California Institute of Regenerative Medicine on the West Coast, and Hackensack and Georgetown on the East Coast, and uh, many other centers that are interested in joining this effort and try to coordinate uh, uh, the production and the effort of this cell delivery system. Now, I understand usually when you talk about trials, you're talking about waiting six months for results, but that's not the case here. Now, this will be a very fast readout because from the data that we have from China, uh, they see a resolution of the lung injury within a week so that uh, uh, we, we have a readout within weeks from the infusion. There will be one infusion at the beginning of the trial, another infusion uh, 72 hours later, but we expect to see the results within weeks. And um, so it will be a very fast uh, trial and a very fast uh, uh, readout of the safety and uh, initial efficacy. M might I ask why you can get those results so quickly? Because these cells have a, a very strong anti-inflammatory effect. They fight the cytokine storm. Uh, they have an antimicrobial activities and they natural sense tissue injury and uh, inflammation and uh, uh, promote tissue repair and regeneration. So it's like uh, if you're injecting an army, we're, we're injecting 100 million of these cells in the lung and it's like providing an army that fight the most severe complication of the virus that are related to this hyperimmune, uh, hyperinflammatory response to the viral attack. So because of your optimism and because of the quick turnaround, are you already in the process of doing uh, uh, stem cell production? Yeah, we're already in, yes, talking with other center to, do, to expand the stem cell production because there is no time to Wait, so as we proceed with this initial uh, early clinical trial, we're already talking with centers from, from Stanford to Georgetown University in Washington, Hackensack Medical Center in New Jersey, and, and many others. In Europe, there is a coalition of five centers, and we're, we're gearing up to, to increase the production of these cell products because a single umbilical cord can generate over 10,000 doses. So... Um, it shouldn't be a problem of uh, procuring enough cells. And, and looking into that proverbial medical crystal ball, if it's as successful as you believe, where to from here? If it's successful, we will have a tool, a strategy to treat the most severe cases while we develop a vaccine to prevent uh, new cases to come uh, on board. But we'll be part of an integrated, uh, sequential integrated strategy for both therapy and vaccination so that uh, in the future, you may think about having a, a rapid response, an integrated response with a bank of these cells that can be cryopreserved in liquid nitrogen. You can have tens of thousands of doses in a cell bank like you do right now, core blood that uh, some families store from their child for potential future use. You can think that you could have mesenchymal stem cell 
banks uh, ready to be used in case of an emergency. But while there are no emergency or pandemics, you can still use them to treat uh, many other diseases. There are trials ongoing from Alzheimer to type 1 diabetes to kidney disease. Dr. Ricordi, hoping for positive news. We'll follow your trial. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. 819, we'll be right back with The Morning Show.